Okay, take two. I'm trying to make this short and sweet. So this one right here, I'm just testing options against Akuma. On Twitter, I saw something really cool. And so you can do up for it too, but he can like FADC and punish you for it. But that's okay, you know, just keep that in mind for later in the video. And so this is the other scenario that I loved. Him doing moves that can jump cancel. But the fun thing is you can interrupt them with moves that hit high enough or yeah basically moves that hit high enough because if it doesn't hit high enough he's gonna just jump all over you and you're gonna eat 100k of damage and it's gonna be your fault because you didn't lab Akuma. Up 4 is pretty much the most I want to say the most reliable move because it hits high and that's all you really need but I like up 4 3 plus 4 or just up 4, no, just up 3 plus 4 because you get a combo, well I guess you get a combo with the other one but this one you can get Oki and it looks cooler so it's like imagine you know 60 or so damage but then you're also hitting them where it hurts, you're hitting them in the morale that's where you gotta hit the Akuma players because otherwise they're just gonna <laughs> Akuma all over you you know and we don't want any of that and so this is the next section where I'm going to talk about the two different things that you have to worry about with Akuma and his jump cancelables thing. So the first is the move that he does. So let's say he does a one jab into the jump cancel. And then the other part is the move he does after the jump cancel. So depending on the move he does first will determine how quickly he transitions into his jump. Um, and that will also dictate what you can do to stop his move after the jump. Okay, we're back where we started. And so if he does FADC, it is launch punishable. So you're both making reads that could cost you your life which makes it exciting but you don't have to risk it for the biscuit because if you block the first mix-up and you block the second one you can just get a nice 13 frame launcher but if you're going for up for it too then you know you're risking death similar to how i said earlier the sky is the limit with lily's combos the sky is also the limit with Tekken knowledge. Well, I guess the rabbit hole goes all the way down with Tekken knowledge. You gotta be aware of what they're capable capable of, but with Akuma, you have to also be aware of meter. But that goes for all 2D characters, so... But I guess it all just goes back down to, are you aware of what they can and cannot do? And vice versa, are they aware of what you can and can't do? Because then that's when it gets really fun, because you're both, you know, counteracting or counter? You're both countering, countering each other's moves, but then, you know, if all else fails, don't die. 